Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate, any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. My speech is called um, Why Computers Are Hurting the Doctor's Office and Hurting Doctor Patient Relations. I am a subject expert, subject expert on cancer because I am a leukemia survivor. I've, I've beaten leukemia four times in the last three years. Thank you. This is what the speech problem is. This is a paper, electronic, or paper record of my medical history. You will see volume six and it's paper. And I was like, holy shit, I'm a software engineer. Why the fuck is a paper in my goddamn doctor's office if my life is on the line? If you stacked all my volumes up and tall, uh, all together, they'd be a foot and a half tall. I've had a bone marrow transplant. I've had, oh man, I've had a whole lot of stuff. But I don't think this is the problem after three years of treatment. I think right now this is the right solution. And so would my 50 second slide. <laughs> I have to talk more. You know what this is? What that was was an aggregator. It was a paper aggregator because that's what my doctor knows how to use. And I don't give a shit how good the computer system is. If my doctor doesn't know how to use it, I don't care. And, and can a computer effectively replace paper? Good God, we, haven't we been asking this question for 20 years now? I don't think so, but there's a mandate. Uh, the 2009 American Recovery and Reinvestment Act said we need to go to electronic medical records by 2015. I've even heard 2011 from my doctors, but I'm not sure about that. And I'm not here to bitch about computers. If it's done well, it will help. Um, it's just not being done well right now. And what these goals are, what these people are, what we're trying to build is we're trying to build a system that will be at least equal to the previous system. Something that's going to, over time, give us advantages through our technology that we develop, develop. Um, most importantly, this should develop, this should help doctors and nurses and help patients most of all. And finally, billing should be manageable. You should see my stack of bills. Um, and are these goals being achieved? I'm here to say absolutely fucking not. Pardon my French. So let me tell you how the doctor's office really works when you're really sick. Um, this hallway here, which I don't know if everybody can see, is a hallway. This is where doctors do 90 to 80 percent of their work. Um, there's a shelf there. You can actually see some paper records on there. And they spend most of their time uh, dictating and writing notes about patients. Um, you'll notice that computer science should fit in that hallway, which is I'm trying to figure out what they're going to do with that. And uh, they actually pay other people to do the work. The doctors are there to see patients. They're there to save lives. They are not there to type. My doctor told me, quote unquote, last week, I am not a typist. <laughs> and honestly, I asked my doctor last week, I told him I was giving this presentation, and I said, are you really just in the computer system or are you just in saving lives? And he said, saving lives. So here was the first, in my doctor's office, this was the first computer in the doctor's office. This is version 1.0. You'll see they put it next to the sink, which drove me nuts as a computer professional. <laughs> um, the thing that pissed me off as a patient is that I was sitting facing my doctor's back every day. This is version two, they put this in two weeks ago. And you'll notice there's a door off to the left and it'll actually swing into the door and somebody walking in can actually destroy this whole system. The other thing that pisses me off more is that, is that they don't use it every time. My, med my paper medical record is a better aggregator than this crappy software that they developed. And here I am sitting here on a 20 year old doctor chair, uncomfortable as hell, and they're spending money on this. And I don't understand, why aren't you helping me directly? Well, I know you've got litigation and stuff you gotta do. So what, how has this really impacted me? I have to wait longer. I have to say shit over and over. Every time I go in, hey, what are your pills? And that's, trust me, that's a 15 minute exercise. And what do they do wrong? They never define the problem. They define the problem as, as the electronic paper. And the problem is really, we need to facilitate doctors, nurses, and patients' recovery and help them do that. And I mean, isn't this the first step in the scientific method to find the problem? If anybody's working on this, find a new job. If you're not doing this and you're doing software engineering that affects people's lives, try something else, please. And then the problem was is that they, they approach technology as a means to an end. Like, oh, it's a medical rec paper record. Oh, that's just a forms application with a database back end. No problem, there's a consultant putting money in his pocket right now, and I shoved my foot up his ass. So the real question is, am I a cis? So last week I had brain surgery, and um, I'm there at 6.30 in the morning, and 
I have four, four nurses in my room working on the computer, asking me what my pills are again. I don't really feel well. And they're like, oh, he's used this. We don't know. Now, to me, that looks like a really bad database code. Something, and in fact, I'm 99.99% confident that it is, but I was kind of drugged at the time. And uh, they, they couldn't figure it out. They didn't know. Four nurses couldn't figure it out, so they said, fuck it, we'll deal with it later. So my, uh, my call to action is, please consider a bone marrow donation to save my life in 2008. Uh, visit marrow.org. It's free, it's painless, kind of. And, uh, <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to Ignite Cincinnati, my goal. Last presentation was to be here to talk tonight. And I'm it, so thank you guys very much.